Welcome back to Cousin Hogs Anonymous. I am your favorite new mama bougie vintage and today is a DIY, a clothing DIY. Super excited about this. Came up with this in my head. Hopefully nobody else has done it. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. You are going to need a medium or large t-shirt. I wanted a Bob Marley t-shirt so I went to Hot Topic and I picked this up. You can use any band you want, any artist you want. Hot Topic has a big range of t-shirts to choose from and your first step is going to be to make your top which is really simple you're just going to cut it at the half line for me my boobs stop above the M so I'm cutting slightly below the M and that will be the top and then we're gonna work on the skirt with the rest of this I'm gonna show you guys other tools that we will be using today momentarily so mom is going ahead and cutting Right where she needs to cut. I think that is not straight. It is. It's so now you can purpose. set your shirt aside, the top part. You can set it aside. You don't need that for the rest of the tutorial. And you're going to take this, your now skirt, and you're going to start to try to taper it. So I'm going from there in. So to the bottom, I'm taking in probably, when I get to the very bottom, two, about two inches. Yep, so I'm coming in two inches from the side and then balance it out. Up Don't top. put that in your mouth, Mama. Ah! She's good because mm -hmm. it's so hard and she's not complaining. No, because she has things to yeah. put in her mouth. <laughs> Don't You can't put that in your mouth, Mama. Here, you can put this one in your mouth. So you are going to need an elastic. I prefer a wide. thicker band. So this is two inches wide. And you want to wrap it around your waist and gather. Get the cut. Um, Actually, it's not. It's an inch and a half wide. Sorry. Oh, inch and a half. Or sorry. Can you can, whatever, two yeah. inches, inch and a half, whatever you mm -hmm. want your waistband to be. And it is going to be exposed elastic. So cut it to the, ex to the exact measurement of your waist. All you have to do is wrap it around your waist and see where it's comfortable. Pull and it, then, yeah. And then a little bit. Cut it there. You have something to say? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh. I was just showing you on the outside. Now she's actually turned the t shirt inside out. And she's going to mark the two inches that she'll be tapering it again on the wrong side yeah. of the fabric. So I'm not taking anything off the top. top no. Because the elastic will it pull it in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And if they're wondering what I'm using to market Taylor's chalk. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to turn it back over. I'm going to pin it and turn it over just to make sure the pattern on the front is centered. Mm -hmm. You're a nice girl. You're mm -hmm. so nice. You let him mama look? Oh, I can't get over her. She is. Oh my god. <coughs> oh. So there we are. Okay. Everything's cool. Okay. okay. So I'm going to so stitch it now. Okay. <laughs> You're touching my lens? Huh? Tell me when you're ready. <gasps> you talking to the camera? Yeah? You have your own channel, Mama? Huh? Is that why? Is that why? Mm -hmm. uh, oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, mom! Oh, mom! What's that? Why are you touching it? You want to put that in your mouth too? You can't. Uh. 
What are you doing? <laughs> no, you can't put the camera in your mouth, Mama. Do you want a milkshake, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> you do? <laughs> I'm just doing a straight stitch here on the machine. And you want to start at the very top where the cut is, but you, again, you're coming in at an angle, so... Touching the screen, making it go out of focus. <laughs> so just follow your your marking on the screen. When you get to the end where the t-shirt is hemmed, make sure it's even. See that? Mm -hmm. So you may have to stretch it a little bit. Or stretch the top or the bottom, whichever is. And then you want to do reverse? Yeah. Well, the kind of stitch I, I did, I, I don't, don't need to. to. Yeah. It's kind of locks in. Okay. Well, you guys don't have this fancy machine, machine so. you bought me. <laughs> yeah. So, I love this sewing machine. Good, definitely gonna be missing. Yeah. And then you just want to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna film this side just because it's the exact, literally the exact same mm -hmm. thing. Except she flipped it upside down. Okay, so what we have here is crinoline. I actually wanted tool, but they didn't have any black tool, so this was the next best thing that I could buy to get the look that I'm looking for. So if you can buy tool, go ahead and buy tool, but I bought crinoline. How much did I buy, Mom? I think a yard and a half. A meter and a half? meter and a half. So I bought a meter and a half. And we basically using the whole thing. Yes, because it has to be gathered. Mm -hmm. So it's folded uh, in half and mom's going to cut, it, just slice, down cut it down the, the center. center. Along the, the already pre-existing fold. fold line. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next thing I'm going to do is stitch this, the side seams. So these will become the, this will become the side seam one, and then the other side as well. Okay. Just this, the um, the stitch I have on it. I'm using that uh, stretch knit stick so it doesn't pull pull away or the stitch won't break. Mm -hmm. Did you pause this? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on the crinoline, she stitched both sides, and she also serged them. You probably don't have a serger at home. If you do, then obviously you can serge, but if you don't, it just, just cut fray, yeah, the... Just uh, close to the stitching line. Yeah, cut close to the stitch line. And that goes for the skirt as well, for the t-shirt part. Okay, so now that you've sewn together your um, crinoline and the side seams, you're going to take the bottom half of your t-shirt and you're going to line it up with the side seams. So the side seams of the skirt should match up with the tool or the crinoline and you're gonna pin it. So that's the side seam there. And you see where the chalk is because she was originally gonna, um, she was working from that side. So that should be lined up on both sides. Okay, so side seams with side seams is really simple. And then mom said you're going to be working in quarters. So there's a lot of extra or excess crinoline. So what you're going to do is take the middle of the crinoline. From one side in the front. Let's start with the front. Yeah. So the first, the front half, you're going to fold it in half again. Once you have it pinned at the side, you're going to fold it in half again. Mm -hmm. So that will give you your center point. Right? So... Hold on to your center point and bring it to the center point of the t-shirt. The t-shirt, which is about here. And put a pin in there. And you're going to repeat the same thing for the back half of the skirt. 
So now you've got three pins in there. All you need to do is flip it and do the same thing. Find the center point of the back half of the crinoline from side seam to side seam. We've got it. And you go directly to your skirt and you pin it in. Center of the, the t-shirt. Are we saying t-shirt or skirt? Yeah, either or. Yeah. Little to model okay. today. And again, you put a pin in to hold it. Now notice how much fabric you have in between That's the sides. Pinned. Yeah, in between side seam and center point, whether in the back or the front. Center seam, side seam. You've got a lot of crinoline in there that we have to get. And so the elastic will pull all of that in for you as we go along. Nobody's going to end up making this. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so it's simple, simple I know, yeah, it's but so it's, simple. when you're just having to describe stuff, mm -hmm. it seems complicated. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But they always tell me they don't make my DIYs. I just like to watch. Yeah. This is this is the more complicated part because we have so much. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get it in there? So one way we can do is to put some Please. folds in, yeah, mm -hmm. to take up the excess, and then before we put the big waistband on, mm -hmm. which is so. kind of what I want anyway. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Look at the drawing. I I didn't see that as oh. I just saw that as gathering. Oh. Yeah. You have to use your discretion based on how much yeah. you have there. So. so mom's just adding some pleats, gathering that fabric in between each quarter. Yeah. And the center one, I'm actually doing it into a, a box shape. Right. When you get there, sure. Yeah. yeah. And and they don't have to be perfect. perfect. Yeah. I had a one piece of belly ache this morning and left. I don't know what's going on. See it. Bye. So miserable. He's crazy. You're crazy. Oh, so you're taking up for him? No, you're both crazy. No, he's crazy. And you know what? Nobody know. now listen. Eh? What do you mean nobody's listening? No, you're just trying to make your point, and he's trying to make his point, and he's saying, "Babe." But if he just got pulled over the other day and he gave it to the guy, why isn't it in plain plain sight? Just and why it was the other one not destroyed? It's why the same policy anyway. It? Yeah. it doesn't matter. The policy number doesn't change. It's just that one card is removed. These guys are too much in Canada. We don't know. They're not getting out of the war. Yeah, I like that. See? Yeah, so is, you guys are getting a little preview of what it's going to look like. Oh. You. The shot. Petite. Oh yeah, you do it all at the same time? Yeah. Oh. What do you think this is? Oh, that's the wrong one. What do you mean this? No, it's My waist is this small. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even when you were born, so don't even start with me. Definitely not when I was born. <laughs> to finish it off, I'm just folding the a, a fragment of the elastic, overlapping it on that, and then stitching it down the side to form the, the waistband. waistband. So make sure when you cut your elastic, you you leave a little bit of room for for that. Yeah. I'm gonna take it off a bit. So to line up the rest of this, I'm gonna put this at the back of center. the skirt, center back of the skirt. Always remember to work with the side seams and. And just a side note, if you want, you still do the elastic waist, but you would add an exposed zipper. 
Yeah. In silver or gold yeah. at the back, and it would look really chic. Yeah. We ain't doing all that today. I was just going to say, she just liked to complicate <laughs> things for you. Center point. Center point. Center point. So you should have four markings on your elastic waistband. And I'm going to match it up again, starting off with... So where you did the seam on the elastic. Mm -hmm. I'm doing maybe a quarter of an inch. You want to make sure that you, you really get all layers. Yes. Okay. You pin there. Match up the side seam, sorry. Match up the side seam. So I cut that cut way. That out. Yeah. What? Cut what out? Oh, yeah. I could cut that out. That's not a big deal. Match up your side seams again. And Otherwise, you will end up real very crooked. Yeah. It won't and be even in space. And it will be frustrating yes. when you're sewing it. Yes. So all the ex excess fabric has to be spaced in there. So when you're stitching, you have to stretch the elastic band so it takes up the extra fabric. Mm -hmm. Section. Four sections, yeah. Right. For people who don't know how to sew, they, they need to base. Oh, yeah, do a base yeah, stitch. You yeah, you don't want to stitch over up. your pins because it will wreck your machine. So I'm going to stitch and make sure you get all sections, all double layer of fabric. So I'm stitching very close to the edge of the elastic and making sure, remember you have to pull to pull all the excess in. Sorry about the lighting guys, we're using daylight. I, I have my light here but I, I'm too lazy. So you're pulling back in front of the Are you eating all my candies? Candy? I'm chewing gum. Oh. And I find that the, the brains are really sticky. Like when I the, opened it, there's the brains. Like these pink oh, strawberry ones. Okay. And when I opened mine at home, mm -hmm. it was so sticky. I can only imagine how sticky yours are since it's hot in here. Yeah. But when I zoom it, it you can see perfectly. It zooms and it, it brightens it for you. Mm. For non sewers, maybe it would have been better if they saw stitched this on, on from the other side so they could see what yeah. they're doing. Is that quarter stitched already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're on to the last quarter. You see how this comes out? Mm -hmm. So you have to be watching for all of it. Okay, so now mom is making the shirt a little bit more girly. So she's turning these sleeves into cap sleeves. And I'm not going to finish, the, we're not going to finish them. No. So with the t-shirt, after you do your cap sleeves, you can cut it up however you want. You can add eyelets to the side if you want and string it up. You can cut the neck off. That's what my mom does. She likes to choke 
when she's wearing her t-shirt so she'll cut here and just have this part hanging off her it's neck and sexy yeah being... <laughs> and then at the back you could add a zipper you could do eyelids you could do some ed hardy cuts whatever your little heart desires okay i'm just so, taking off yeah there's just some fabric on the inside Excess. You want to move that out the way? <laughs> <laughs> There's some excess fabric on the inside of the skirt where the elastic was sewn on. Mom just snipping it off to finish the skirt off. Am I still in the shot? <laughs> no, I zoomed in so you're out of it. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, I bought a medium shirt because that's all they had. The Bob Marley shirts were like sold out. So get a large shirt so that you can get a longer skirt out of it. My medium shirt, um, the skirt ends up being really short because I got really long legs and a short torso. You may also have to taper the shirt if you get a, a large. Yeah. Well, you tapered taper it anyway. Wherever, yeah. Oh, you mean on the top part? Yeah. Yeah. You may have to do something. If you want it to yeah. fit more form fitting. But if you want it to just be loose. So there is your top. And there is your skirt with your crinoline. Okay, and as you I'm see, sure. J A M A I C A, Jamaica. So that is basically it. I'm going to put it on so you guys can see, but uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to hopefully get some pictures in it when I actually wear it so I can post it on Instagram. But this is the outfit. Super easy. Tell me if you guys like it, love it, hate it. I love you all, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Super cute. Living.